Hey guys, what's up? So I just wanted to talk about, um, I'm really noticing how in every video I'm like, so I really just want to talk about, and then I'm like, kind of like, okay, I don't want you to say that anymore, was, but I always forget when I go to like do it. So anyways, a lot of things about, nope, I'm going to say it. So I want to talk about something that has to do with femininity again. <laughs> it feels so much better. Um, a lot of women feel like they have to show their skin, um, being half naked and everything in order to show that they're free. Okay. Like if you don't have a boyfriend, it's like, I'm free. I can do whatever I want. So I'm going to put all these posts, like all these half naked pictures and you know, this that, and the other thing. And it's like a form of feminism. And it's like the feminism really needs to like understand that it doesn't make people happy. Like, if you're part of that movement, you got to ask yourself, do I really feel happy? Because you're actually, like, bounded and you're actually in imprisonment in your head trying to get that next, like, dopamine, like, acid hit or something where, like, it gives you that ego boost. You know what I mean? And it's like, it's not feminism, Feminism is when it's women empowerment where you're supposed to lift each other up as women. It's not to degrade men. It's not to try to rise to the top and tell your husband that you don't need them. It's not to forget about your family. It's not about, like, society has made feminism look like something completely different than what it really should be. It's like now there's a difference between feminism and women empowerment. But women empowerment should be the definition of fe feminism. So... What I'm trying to say is there's a lot of women out there that use the whole naked, half naked shit to show their freedom. And it's like you're actually bound to what you're doing to find your freedom out of fear is actually what's bounding you to the idea of having to do that in order to get your dopamine fix. It's like. Do you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave it there. But like, really, if you're like in a feminism, like movement, think about what's really going on. Like, are you happy? Are you happy working your ass off? Are you happy not seeing your family? Are you happy degrading men? Are you happy? Like, it's like at the same time, like men are like, there's like a gender war. Men are pretty much being told even more to have no emotions, no anything, and just work their ass off and make money. And it's like the women are more in power and they're more, you know, making money in because of women, pat, women, the woman movement. Like, I don't know how to say it. I posted a video about it, but it's like everybody has to understand that this all comes from the media. That's what it does. Like, we, the things that are put out into society, everything is fucking fake, man. Like, everything is fake. Like, you put out into society what you feel like you should be or how things should be or how people want to see you and how this, that, and the other thing. But it's like, who are you really? I have so many messages right now. Who are you really? Who do you want to be? Because once you can figure out who you want to be, become it. Feel it. Like, feminism is killing this country. Like, it really is. Like, I just posted a video about it, and that's what it's called. And that's, like, what came to my head is, like, it's killing the country. Like, it really is. It's, like, men, there's a, literally a gender, like, war. Even if, like, you don't realize it, it's, like, there, there needs to be, like, men privilege. Crazy. Like, it really is. Like, look at how much more women are rising to the top than men are now a days. Like, in the video, it talks about actresses and singers and films and, you know, career-wise. It's like, she makes the bread. You know what I mean? Like, even me, I supported every single boyfriend that I ever had ever had I worked my ass off and I did everything I had to do I made my own businesses I had a successful cleaning business for eight years and if I wanted to keep doing it I could right seven years but 
like, I supported every single one of them. And it's like, some men don't care. And some men have to show their, hide their emotions because their women has none. <laughs> it's like, yo. But what was I even saying? That's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say something else. And then I got into this. I don't remember. So I think I'm just going to stop because I don't remember what I was saying. And if I don't remember what I was saying, oh, being bound to being feeling like you need to be. I post pictures of me half naked humbly because I do it for art. And you can look at me and be like, yeah, okay, bitch. But look, I really do. Like, I appreciate sexuality as an art. I don't look at it as porn or you know, slutty shit or horror stuff. Like, yeah, like I might do that during sex, but that's not all I do. Like art, sexuality to me is art. End of story. Like the body is art. So if I'm posing naked with nothing showing and I'm not promoting it as OnlyFans and this and that, I'm literally doing it humbly to show the difference between how you can still look sexy, naked, completely naked, and be presentable and classy rather than be hoary and try to get that attention and then call yourself feminist. Because you're actually being bound to having to be naked in order to get attention. Bam. That's what I was trying to say. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. It's still not done.